Good afternoon, Aries Falcon. This is your tarot or uh, zodiac reading that for those areas that are on this collective wave. So it's still regarding, you know, if it comes out that it's a love reading, um, more about the twin flame journey, that's okay because we're still um, just narrowing down who the reading is for for the collective wave. So in this collective wave, it's Aries Falcon. And the Falcon is the American Indian totem, animal totem for, for Aries. All right. Let's get started. If you want to email me at sacred spiritual healer at gmail.com for a personal reading or questions, inner child healing, guidance, um, Reiki healing, energy healing, etc., um, follow the link below. Energy, overall energy. So we have three. Everybody else has been getting two. So there's a vast number. Some of you may be cusps or cross watcher that will pick up the energy, okay? Because they're definitely different energies. Alright, so you got the raccoon kind of um Stays quiet to himself in the dark with still in his mask, not in his truth, right? It's an earth energy, um, kind of just um, maybe a, almost a stalker energy. He kind of stays in the um, background watching, uh, sneaking in to take what he can. Then there is the frog who stays in the, is in the light, is in uh, his chakras are wide open, or open and activated, his third eye is open. He's um, full of his emotions. The darkness of um, is weighing him down with the emotions. All this rain coming down on top of them. So someone in the collective wave of the Aries are in their emotion, deep emotions. And some of them are um, just kind of staying back. Not quite a hermit um, energy, but um, doesn't want to be seen um, or in their truths yet. Their mask is kind of, kind of like a, a closet. <laughs> Closet uh, twin flame. <laughs> All right, so earth energy again is the snake energy. It's a complete cycle. Um, this is also um, spiritual. The colors is the auras in him. And again, we have the two little white lights reminds me of the twin flame connection. And the snake, while well, here is the darkness around him, he is in his light and just glowing beautifully. Um, the snake energy is not. People have snakes in the dreams for different reasons, and same with this card. This card is actually a positive card. It's the intuition, the uh, kundalini, the, um, the sensual energy within each of us, even. So it's not not seeing it as bad. On the bottom, we have lion for strength. A little bit of Leo coming out. <laughs> Perhaps you have Leo as a cross watcher, or or maybe you just are being uh, strong while you go through this emotion and connection. It's a very emotional connection at times. Make sure you get a precise reading. No upside down cards that aren't meant to be, you know what I'm saying? I just did Aqua and then Pisces. So everybody, both of those readings were like far different. <laughs> so let's see what we get for Aries, alright? 
awesome. Going to do the reading today a little different. First row is going to be your career. Second row is going to be your financials or your pentacles, right? And the third row will be your um, romance or love interest, okay? Spirit, give us five cards for the career for Aries. Choose the size for both the Divine Feminines and the Divine Masculine Spirit. Choose the size messages regarding the Aries on this journey in this collective way. Thank you. This is the career. Two, three, four. One more for the career, please. The career for the Aries. says these are all upright. Gotcha. Okay, remember this is your career section. Financial space, the financial money is pentacles for the areas in this collective way. Areas get in this collective way. Further financial, the pentacles. There. How are they doing in their pentacles? We have choices coming in as a priestess. For this journey, the love is just for this journey, sir. The collective ways, Aries and Falcon. Aries and Falcon, sir, please. By masculine, equal to collective. And the other, the name of collective. Not speaking to me. present All right. 
Yeah, we'll see how these read. Oh, we do have one reversal. The spirit says it has to be in reverse. All right. So in your career, the first card up is the Page of Pentacles wanting to move forward with in their career, their Knight of sorry, Knight of Pentacles moving forward in their career, knowing the science, knowing how to make the Pentacles happen, knowing how what path he wants to take, and he is in his truth because his helmet is off. So truthful action here for your career path. Moving forward in a slow manner. It's a squirrel that he's riding. So squirrels are a little, you know, you know, the old saying, there's a squirrel. <laughs> Here's a squirrel, there's a squirrel. All right. So this knight, though, of wands, wants to come in. Perhaps that's your partner. He wants to come in, but he's not in his truth. He does want to come in very fast. He's on an eagle or a hawk. Looks more like a hawk, actually. Career. So one's moving slow in their career, one's moving fast. But Ace of Pentacles is what they're after. They are still in the science of this journey together. But um, since I'm seeing this one squirrel here, I almost feel like the squirrel is the leader. So this is the chaser, this is the runner. But he is following her. He's, or, you know, that person. Uh, Gender is not specific. So it could switch around genders either way. Okay, but the swirl the leader and doing most of the work. Perhaps that's why this one's not in their truth. They do feel like they're um, equally being nurtured. He is, um, they're facing each other, getting nourishment from the divine equally. And they are in their pentacles, working it for their pentacles. And the Knight of Wands is also protecting his, uh, this is the Eight of Pentacles. He's protecting, uh, building, using his pentacles to protect that precious that he's worked so hard for. The squirrel is in here with the loyal dog, even though I'm not referencing that. His counterpart a dog, but his partner. <laughs> uh, he's protecting. He knows uh, he needs to protect them from the harsh elements, the other energies around, people from harming them, taking them, taking them what they've worked for. So your career is that you're working together with your partner already, collect your divine counterpart. Um, and since this is divine uh, six of pentacles, it's equal give and take. Um, and you're in the signs. Perhaps this is like the last Pisces reading where you're getting into mission, doing your sole purpose career. So while maybe it's taking off slow because it's newly built, right? You've just decided to start this uh, new journey together in your uh, sole purpose together. And it may not even be your sole purpose, but you're working together on a mission that will give you the pentacles to continue on your divine path. That might be for some also. Um, everyone in the Pisces of this collective is not necessarily going to have the same career um, path there. So, Empress, for your financials, you're succeeding like royalty. You're an Empress. You've got the bull with the spirit guides beside you. You're holding on to your heart, your green. You're in your green, so your heart chakra is open, so you're loving what you're doing. You're loving uh, life. You know the science behind the journey. You've got it there. You've got the key to your partner's heart. And you're uh, looking back to make sure they're with you. And your rainbow's in the far. I mean, even the cow looks happy. So um, in your financials, you know you have choices. And you are following the divine choice. The um, there's some emotion, emotional process in this. Um, he's still moving slow as a turtle. One of them. And 
that uh, that's okay because Spirit says because um, Spirit is giving them all the elements that they need to show them that there's one divine cup but you also get um, these other elements because you're on your journey or in your mission cut out the things that no longer serve you as a page of swords so you're standing in your truth in your mission um, wherever it takes you these mountains now look like they're covered in snow this here looks like it's somewhere in Europe or something with the like castles behind it so you're traveling for this work this business um, so you're financially stable enough to be able to travel um, together for this permit um, sometimes the uh, finances may take pause so perhaps it's a seasonal job um, where you know during tourist season your work is uh, maybe you're bringing light love and light and messages to during a tourist season where then there's a season that you kind of hibernate like the hermit right you go in reflect what went well what didn't in this business because again this is the business this is the financials this is the um, pentacles that you're bringing in but the wheels turning forward the wheel of fortune you're in your faith there's one climbing or trying to keep up with you but one of you is just sitting there trusting the spirit to guide you and this brings you a ten of cups happiness fulfillment all right and in your love life everybody knows when you work together with a loved one family member someone close to you it does take a uh, struggle it's um, an equal give and take but you have to really trust the other person right and to be able to reflect and step away to meditate and know the other partner has the helm uh, has the has the business will keep going while you're taking a rest so four of swords here is where this person is resting but the twin or the flame the knowledge of the journey is right there in his foot he's not going far from it these are his spirit guides uh, protecting him uh, knowing that no matter where they journey to they are protected they've got their um, territory marked out with the swords these are not swords down because lack of truth this is uh, loving himself meditating going within his hands are on his face so um, we know this person is in you know taking his uh, guidance from the divine as well the counterpart um, is back still watching the Pentacles thinking of him non-stop um, waiting for his return and then maybe then they'll switch basically um, the Emperor she's uh, looking at this little squirrel here knowing that he <laughs> uh, while she's guarding the pentacles he needs to be off resting because he's worked hard he's with his spirit guides he is her emperor um, and in this card it's um, he's holding on the wand of faith he's protecting the bulls from the fire the flame but this also gives a bit of a stubborn energy because of the bull um, so instead of just getting up and leaving the flame when it's hot he's going to be stubborn and hold that bull right there so maybe he's holding them back on the journey a little bit here because he's slower and stubborn not in his truth or being slow like the turtle because he's stubborn when spirits lighting the fire under them they should go when called spirit tells us go to the park and do a tarot reading we go right um, if he tells you that's the person you need to be with then that's the person you focus on that's the one you uh, trust that the divine has your best interest in heart because they do all right there's a little bit of shadow energy here as well so while he's believing in the journey believing in all this he still is hiding something maybe his emotions these some 
the moon is here. It looks like the sun's right behind it, but there's tears coming from the sky. And they're crying. They're crying out in the to the moon. Um, and he, the signs there with the little crab. The twin towers represent the twin flames. But um, still, nonetheless, in their romance um, section here, we have a little bit of shadow on something. And we know that someone's not in their truth yet because he's masked. This causes an um, issue with the lovers, right? So they're not feeling quite um, tied together in the upright. They're uh, divinely tied, meaning in union. Rainbow is there. They know that the promise at the end of the rainbow is there. Their cup of love is there. Their emotions with the water behind them. That's the lover's card, right? It, the love is divinely guided. But in reverse, though it's still divinely guided, they're not feeling tied. They're not feeling like lovers are in a union because someone's still in their secret. Someone's being stubborn. And they aren't in the same card. Like you don't have the boat with two of them together. You don't have them, you know, two people in any given card other than that one in reverse. So you need to come together. The advice would be for that one is spend time together um, at the business, um, spend time together working on the pentacles or both leaving to uh, close the store to both go meditate. Because relationship takes 100% from both of you. Alright, so world, it's a number three card. This is a completion of a cycle. You um, have, you're holding on to the, the both flames there in your emotions, knowing it's divinely guided through different cycles, but this is the completion of this cycle. And now you're in your Queen of Cups energy, holding your hand over the cups, because you feel like there's, that you're not in union, that you're not tied, and you know there's some shady, something shady going on or withheld. So while you're still in your power of Queen, and in your emotions, you're covering your cup at this time and dipping a toe in the water saying I'll still give this a chance but I'm not taking I'm not letting you uh, fill my cup right now I'll do that myself maybe she feels like she's doing all the work herself this may be for only a few of the um, fairies in this collective um, others Perhaps you're not in union and that's why it's reversed. Perhaps you're going at it together without being uh, tied together or, you know, just as friends or counterparts. So we're going to clarify. Alright, so what is the... These are pretty for a career. What's the Ace of Pentacles? Is it because they're just starting out um, on this career path? What's the Ace of Pentacles about? Clarify the Ace of Pentacles spirit. For the Aries Falcon of this collective wave. Divine Masculine speak for up for the Divine Masculines in this group. And my higher self speaks for the Divine Feminines. Right here we have Let's do a piece of pentacles here for coins, four of coins. Somebody's being greedy uh, in this situation. Well, it is a stable number, it's balanced, but he's being greedy just by the looks. It's not upright, it's not upside down, not upside down. And he's just got that weird look in his eye like, these, these are mine, I'm hiding them. Okay, and we also have the strength card, being strong. And we have the three, the lion with two lionesses makes me think of a three-party situation, even though it's the animals. 
that may be for some or even just one. We know it's always a possibility. Um, okay, grab that strength with the three, the two lioness. Just for strength or for some three-party situation. Somebody's left out in the cold regarding that strength card. Somebody feels left out in the cold. Perhaps she's treating him like she's running everything. That's why he's following behind. He's trailing behind and he feels left out in the cold. He feels abandoned. So he's hanging out with the animals. He, he, maybe he's afraid she's going to leave him in the cold so he's stashing some coins at more like that. Some of you are um, he feels like he's going to be left out in the cold. He's trying to have strength but he decides to stash some coins just in case just in case he has to protect himself and you can't always blame the mail <laughs> seven of wands feeling defensive Feeling like he's in his power, he's in his um, divinely guided um, path, but feeling defensive also. Alright. What's the Eight of Pentacles? Clarify the Eight of Pentacles spirit that is protecting the divine and not himself. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. This is definitely where he's um, protecting um, his divine. He's uh, the fool. He's taking the leap of faith um, forward because he uh, has. He knows he has choices, but his choice is the divine. He knows she holds the key to his heart. He wants to offer her more gifts and earn or work at the ten of coins. She is his completion. She completes him. Because she is his two of cups. All right, finances. What do we? Let's clarify that she's page of swords. Is she page of swords, sharp tongue, or cutting things that no longer serve her? Clarify the page of swords. Two deck. <laughs> I'll get those later. The deck just fell, so I switched. Alright. Clarify the page of sword spirit. Thank you. She's protecting, standing her own, being in her truth um, while they travel. Um, she knows he's her king of cups. That they are in love with the two of cups. Knight of wands that um, no, Knight of Cups that he offers her emotional stability um, even though at times she feels um, holding herself back um, tied up, blocked but um, this is your financial social so here's a choice card as well back there was a choice card um, The choice card was up there. Maybe a communication issue. But this is about the finances. She knows he's um, great at offering emotional stability, but when it comes to the pentacles, and perhaps that's where she's um, feeling tied up, like she's doing the work, so she's blocked, um, feeling held back. Be careful of this mindset because it's going to cause a block and it's going to then cause a, a blockage in your financial success. She's feeling this blockage which might be why she's also going hermit mode and not for some of them. I know some of them it was more of the seasonal type work. 
so they go part time in the hermit mode. But for someone, at least a few out there, it's their feeling luck even though they know they're emotionally fulfilled financially they may be struggling so they're going within they don't see because his back is turned he doesn't see that the wheels turn it forward and going to have complete abundance with the ten of cups although it is ten of cups and not ten of pentacles so still going to have emotional fulfillment i uh, just need to work on the finances Seven of Wands fighting things off. Being defensive. Ace of Cups. So, Ace of Cups is a great um, thing. Feeling emotionally fulfilled completely. That's not the problem. Maybe that. Maybe that's why the Hermit still watching the flame because she knows. One of them knows that they have the emotional fulfillment, the Ace of Cups. But it's still, this is in your finances. So you're getting all these cups and emotions in your finances. Okay. Clarify the Four of Swords. Clarify the Four of Swords. What's he meditating about? Four swords taking time out to love himself. Focus on the flame nearby. Spirit guides and everything. More mountains. Somebody might be doing their work out in the mountains. Maybe somebody's traveling out west or lives out west. This has mountains in it and so did this page of swords. Page of pentacles. So the page of pentacles concentrating. He's meditating and loving himself because he's been working to bring that pentacle in. Sometimes we don't see the work our counterparts do behind the scenes. Um, we know the spirit works behind the scenes, but so do our counterparts. Sometimes it's with we're them uh, protecting the divine feminines from. Sometimes they're building pentacles without our knowing, working on things behind the scenes that we aren't knowing. So we put ourselves as feminines. Um, in a worry situation and go with it and focus on, you know, do the hermiting. But they are working behind the scenes and there's no need to worry. They still are protecting you, the counterpart. They're still building their pentacles, or, um, their stability, the pentacles, the protection of the money, the loyal animal, you know, loved ones. We just don't see all the things they do, that's all. Nor do they see all that we do behind the scenes. Which is why she looks so worried, perhaps. Not just worrying about him, but worrying if they're going to, uh, you know, ever come together at the same time. Is it always going to be a him? He works and then she works. When it's supposed to be an equal give and take. Clarify this nine of pentacles. Or she is so stressed. The knight of wands communicate her uh, swift movement. She wishes he wasn't slow movement. She wishes he was a faster movement. She wishes he was a knight of wands. She's not as content as she might have thought she'd be in this relationship. Well, it is a, it's a divinely guided relationship or a partnership, really. Um, and it is hard work. You need to do when they're triggering you because they're too slow or only bringing in one pentacle or being stubborn, then you need to go inside, heal your inner child healing. Perhaps that triggers something from the past. But know that you are the Empress. You birth the new beginnings. You birth the new ideas, the, the new businesses, possibly even the family.
but remember to love yourself as the Empress, to have faith in yourself, to have faith and trust in the divine guidance. This will bring you the world, the happiness that you strive for in the relationship and in yourself. You have to work that. And you also have the King of Wands. So these fellow when I was getting the world card, we had the paved Knight of Wands where she saw him as a knight, but he is really the king. She's just, well, um, it's an illusion that he's not working as hard as he is the counterpart. Um, so don't turn your back on because you have cups there. You have eight cups, but yet someone's turning their back. This would only be for um, one or two people in this collective of Aries. Don't turn your back on the journey. Don't turn your back on your partner. You've come this far. If it's time to move on, move on together, Spirit says. Emperor, now you have the Empress and the Emperor Divine Air. So let's clarify the new moon or the moon card, which is eighteen eight and one breaks down with nine. <laughs> um so let's clarify the moon card spirit. Let's clarify the moon card. What is the shady behavior or what's in the shadows that they need to know about to bring light to the situation? We clarify it with a moon. <laughs> He sits a little bit lighter in color. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, see, he's burning the candles at night, too. And he doesn't want her to know that he's working hard to bring her everything she wants. The judgment's going to come in. And maybe judgment's going to show her. Let me see. Hang on. I want to see what these are first. swords that was clarified the eight so I asked for another card because this is her by herself in the boat with the sword she's take, trying to move on but with the swords with her she's not doing the healing she needs to do the healing again she's in the moonlight he's working at dark and she's going she's taking her heartache and trying to move forward but away from him because her back is turned to him see so she's Turn it, or trying to move away from him in in the dark, like sneak away. This is yeah. This is somebody trying to like she's in the calm waters, but it's in the moonlight. So he's working nights. She's moving. She's doing something else. Maybe the shit. Maybe the stubborn or the shady work was regarding her. This is over the moon, remember. We got to moon. Maybe both of them are doing something shady, but he's hard at work at night while she moves or goes somewhere. But we do have the high priestess, so she's the high priestess. He knows she's the high priestess. Judgment's going to come in, judgment card, and give them something to celebrate. Perhaps um, a tower moment will come in and create it where they have to both work the same hours instead of one at night and one day. Um, well, it does take equal work. You have to balance um, so that you're still nourishing the relationship, nourishing the purpose that you're even together. 
be the Queen of Cups. Don't be afraid to um, be in your emotions. And the Knight of Wands. He, um, he felt like he was battling for this fast movement. He had to fight something, but he is bowing down to his Queen of Cups, surrendering to the Queen, hoping that she uncovers, takes her hand off the cup because he wants to have the world with her. She is his world. She is his lover. He stays awake at night thinking of her because he's also her King of Swords. He wants to protect her with a sword. What else do we want to tell the Aries for this relationship? What advice do we have for the Aries? What advice would you tell the Aries for? Queen of Pentacles. Full circle. What comes around, goes around. You started with pentacles, you had a rough run, but she is the queen of pentacles. You have every king and every queen out here. And the emperor and the empress. Let's get you some angel cards. This is longer than I wanted to. Go. Okay, angel of vision. Someone is not revealing part of the story. Trust your feelings over what others say. Someone is not revealing part of the story. Trust your feelings over what they say. So trust your feelings on what's going on. Because you have the moon on both parties. There's two moon cards. So perhaps neither one are really communicating. You have all these wands. You have all these cups. That's like the very few swords of truth. Goddess of nature, you reap what you sow. Your dream is coming to fruition. God of conflict resolution, absolutely. You are being encouraged to walk away from a current conflict. Just the conflict, not the person. You can walk away from an is issue or a conflict and say, hey, let's just uh, agree to disagree, right? Forgive them. Forgive yourself. Spirit, give them advice. I need more advice from spirit. Any more advice from spirit, please? spirit of air and a circle of life. Everything go, uh, is, comes full circle, right? You start one place and as a baby, you go all through life and then you go back to the dirt. Um, spirit of air. We breathe in divine energy and we exhale love and light. This is our mission, is to share the love and light and passion. As the wind blows, change Change comes with the air as it blows. Everything changes. Just like the circle of life. It just keeps changing. That's all I have for you. Aries, Falcon, uh, Namaste, and have a blessed evening.